Maine State Facts for Kids Maine is the largest of the New England states and is bordered by Canada to the north and east, the Atlantic Ocean to the south, and New Hampshire to the west. There are three geographical divisions that apply to the area. Maine is the only state in the country with a one-syllable name. It's also the only state that shares its border with just one other state. The coastal lowlands begin at the Atlantic coast and extend 10 to 40 miles inland. This area is home to thousands of coastal islands, the largest of which is Mount Desert Island, as well as sandy beaches, salt marshes, bays, and inlets. The islands were once mountains, but during the last ice age, the sea level rose and submerged them. Northwest of the coastal lowlands is a region known as the Eastern New England Uplands, which is home to the Longfellow Mountains, lakes, streams, and good soil. The state's White Mountains, which are located in the northwest of the country, are home to Baxter State Park and Mount Katahdin, which is the highest point in Maine and is 5,268 feet tall. Around 12,000 years ago, the region that is now known as Maine likely received its first settlers. Native American groups like the Maliseet, Passamaquoddy, Abenaki, and Penobscot have inhabited this territory throughout its history. Maine is still home to a number of Native American tribes today. They include the Passamaquoddy, Maliseet, and Penobscot lines. Leif Erikson, a Viking adventurer, may have traveled to the region in the year 1000 with his crew. A little over 600 years later, some of the earliest permanent European towns in Maine were founded by British and French settlers. Southwest Maine joined the Massachusetts Bay Colony in 1652. In 1774, a year after the Boston Tea Party, citizens of Maine burnt a cargo of British tea in protest of Britain's high taxation. In retaliation, British troops attacked and destroyed Falmouth, Maine. Maine citizens took part in the first maritime engagement of the Revolutionary War, which broke out in 1775. Maine became the 23rd state in the nation on March 15, 1820 after separating from Massachusetts. This was all part of the Missouri Compromise, a deal that admitted Missouri as a state at the same time. The state capital was established in Augusta and 16 county lines were drawn across the area. The state uses the two-letter abbreviation, M, and, E. Maine has a total of 35,385 square miles which makes it the 39th largest state. The total population is 1.37 million residents which makes it the 42nd most populous state. Since Maine has woods covering almost 90% of its land, so it should come as no surprise that trees are among the state's most valuable natural resources. Maple syrup is made from some trees, while others are used for lumber. The best tourmaline crystals in the world can be found in the semi-precious stone mines in this state. Along with limestone, Maine generates a lot of gravel. Maine is probably best known for its lobsters. Off the coast of Maine, 90% of the nation's lobster supply is obtained, which ends up being about 40 million pounds of lobster each year. Maine is also responsible for producing 99% of all the blueberries in the U.S. but there's more. Maine also produces 90% of the country's toothpick supply. Maine is also known for its numerous lighthouses because of its rugged coastline and boasts more than 60 of them. The Portland Head Light on Cape Elizabeth is the oldest lighthouse in Maine. Along the rocky shores of Maine's coast, you'll find the easternmost national park named Acadia. With rounded mountains, shimmering lakes, rugged coastline, and forests dotted with old stone roads and trails, this New England National Park is a real treasure. Maine has over 3,000 miles of coastline. This is actually more than California. Eastport, Maine is the most eastern city in the United States. It's the first place in the United States to experience the sunrise each day. Maine is also known for its brutal winters. The state's coldest day ever was in January of 2009, when temperatures reached minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit in Big Black River. Although Maine has several well-known art museums, it's also home to a few museums that are more focused on, unique subjects. These include the Maine Coast Sardine History Museum, the Umbrella Cover Museum, and the International Cryptozoology Museum. It's dedicated to studying mysterious animals like Bigfoot, Yetis, and lake monsters. 
The state tree is the white pine. White pine is commonly transplanted today as a landscape evergreen tree and is also cut and sold as a Christmas tree. This towering evergreen easily grows to 80 feet tall by 40 feet wide or larger under optimum conditions, with a rapid growth rate. The state flower is the white pine cone and tassel. Botanically, the white pine cone and tassel are not flowers, they are gymnosperm, producing seeds without flowers. Pine trees have male and female cones. The male pine cones are small and fall off the tree after pollination. The female pine cones grow larger after being pollinated and take months, sometimes years to mature and fall. The state bird is the black-capped chickadee. Chickadees may be found in any habitat that has trees or woody shrubs, from forests and woodlots to residential neighborhoods and parks, and sometimes weedy fields and cattail marshes. They frequently nest in birch or alder trees. The state fish is the landlocked salmon. Adults are generally silvery with a slightly forked tail and small X-shaped markings on the back and upper sides. Juvenile salmon have a dark red spot between each pair of par marks. Mature males develop a kite or hooked jaw during the spawning season. Maine's official state mammal is the moose. It has the highest moose population in the country. There are estimated to be about 76,000 moose roaming throughout the state. I hope you enjoy our videos. If so, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel.